Teacher Kat. And I'm Teacher Maricar. I'm Teacher Jeka. And I'm Teacher Sara. And welcome to Jeka Kids Online! Hello kids! Kamusta? Naalala niyo ba yung lesson natin last week? Tower of Babel. Tama! Ang lesson natin last week ay tungkol sa tore ng Babel. Ano nga ulit yung tinayo ng hari na naging dahilan ng pagkagalit ng Diyos? Tower of Babel. Tama! Tore ng Babel. Para maging tanyag at sikat sa buong mundo. Pero hindi tama yun. And this week, ang story naman natin ay tungkol sa isang musunuring tao. Gusto niyo na ba siyang makilala? Apa! Tara, let's watch our story for today. Stories of the Bible Noah and the Flood This is Noah. Hi! Noah was a good man who tried to do the right thing. Yeah! But in the time when Noah lived, he was the only man on earth who was doing the right thing. All the other people on earth were doing evil things and hurting each other. This made God very sad. So God said that he was going to send a flood to the earth that would destroy every living thing on earth because he was sorry he ever made them. But God decided to save Noah and his family. God told Noah to build a boat and fill it with two of every kind of animal and bird. Colored, bird, moth, okay, all here. Noah did just that, and then Noah and his whole family boarded the boat and waited for the flood to come. The rain fell hard for 40 days and 40 nights. Whoa! Water covered the whole earth, and the boat floated safely on the surface. Water covered even the highest mountains on earth, but Noah and his family were saved. God remembered Noah and all the animals on the boat. God sent a wind to blow across the earth, and the flood began to go away. After five months, the boat came to rest on a mountaintop. A few months later, the other mountains could be seen. Forty days later, Noah opened a window and released a raven. The bird flew back and forth until the flood had dried up. He also sent a dove out to see if it could find dry ground. But the dove couldn't find a place to land because there was still water on the ground. So the dove returned to the boat. Oh, hello again. After another seven days, Noah sent the dove out again. This time, it came back with an olive leaf. Oh, that girl. So Noah knew that the flood waters were almost gone. A week later, he sent the dove out again, and it didn't come back. So many months after the flood began, Noah opened the covering of the boat and saw that the ground was drying. He waited two more months, and at last, the earth was dry. Then God said to Noah, Leave the boat, all of you. Release the animals so they can be fruitful and multiply throughout the earth. Okay! So Noah, his family, and all the animals finally left the boat. See ya! Noah built an altar to the Lord to make a sacrifice to God. God was pleased with Noah's offering and said to himself that he would never again destroy every living thing on earth. God blessed Noah and his sons and promised them that he would never send another flood. He gave them the rainbow in the sky as a sign of this promise to Noah, his family, and all of mankind. Napakaganda ng story na pinanood natin. Di ba nakita nyo na napakasama ng mga tao at dahil doon nagalit si Lord? Ngunit may isang tao na naging matuwid sa kanyang paningin. Walang iba kundi si Noah. Ano nga ulit ang pinagawa ng Diyos kay Noah? Malaking arko. Tama! Malaking arko. Hmm, nakakalungkot. Nakakatakot. Nalulunod ang mga tao. Sana, huwag kayong umiyak. Ganyan talaga pinapa.
arusahan ni Lord na masamang tao. Tara, samahin mo na lang ako sumayaw. Tara, kids! Sumayaw tayo! Sino ay gumawa ng isang arko? Sino ay gumawa ng isang arko? Sino ay gumawa ng isang arko? Inutusan siya ng Diyos. Bumus ang ulan at bumaha. Bumus ang ulan at bumaha. Bumus ang ulan at bumaha. Ang ako'y palutang lutang. Ang sabi ng kaibigan ni Noah, sabi ng kaibigan ni Noah Ang sabi ng kaibigan ni Noah Noah! Papasukin mo kami Ang sabi ni Noah ay di pwede Ang sabi ni Noah ay di pwede Ang sabi ni Noah ay di pwede Ang arko'y sarado na ang arko'y sarado na Ang arko'y sarado na It's activity time! Ito ang mga gagamitin natin Papel at crayons Okay, let's start! First, let's use color red Next, color orange. Next, yellow. Green. Indigo Violet And also, let's use color gray for the clouds Okay, that's it! Pagkatapos ng malaking baha, pinababa agad ng Diyos si Noah at ang kanyang pamilya kasama ang mga hayop sa isang ligtas na lugar. Nagpray si Noah at nagpasalamat siya sa Lord dahil niligtas siya nito. And God promised that He will never destroy the earth through great flood. He put a rainbow as a sign of His promise. Kids! After ba umulan, nakakakita pa rin kayo ng rainbow? Apa! Tama! Hanggang ngayon, may rainbow pa rin. Hi kids! I will teach you how to easily remember the colors of the rainbow. Remember this word. Roy Jibib. Say it again. Roy, Roy Jibib. Jibib. R stands for red. O stands for orange Y stands for yellow G stands for green D stands for blue I stands for indigo and last V stands for violet Is that clear kids? And kids, for our assignment, talk to your parents and make 
a promise that you will never be stubborn dahil ang matigas ang ulo, sakit sa ulo ni mama at ni papa. At ito ang halimbawa ng promise na gagawin mo. Mama and papa, I promise na mag-aaral na po akong mabuti. Mama and papa, I promise na hindi na po ako magpapasaway. At yayain mo si mama at papa na mag-pray kayo together. At syempre, dapat may tungto pa rin. At ngayon, mag-pray tayo. Just close your eyes. Bow your head and hands together. Father God in heaven, marami pong salamat dahil binigyan mo ako ng pusong sumusunod. Lord, gabayan mo po ako na patuloy na maging mabuting bata, patuloy na maging masunurin, at makikinig ako sa aking mga magulang. Marami pong salamat, Ama. Patuloy mo akong gabayan hanggang sa aking paglaki Ganun na din ang aking mga magulang. Ito po ang aking dalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Napakagaling mong manalangin. At ito naman ang mga batang masisipag-spotted na nag-send ang kanilang activity. Congratulations, kids! And kids, don't forget to like, share to our Rainy Life page. See you next Sunday. God bless you!